What is up virtual pot pullers and chip stackers? Today we're going to take a look at this session, a very productive, almost up 7 buy-ins in about 5 hours and 3600 hands, 70 bucks towards that 100k challenge. Not bad. Let's take a look at some of the hands. Biggest big blind win of the night came with this hand at a 10 NL table. We have ace king in the cutoff. There is an open raise by the middle position player. I three bet in the cutoff to a little bit bigger than three times his open bet. I make it 3.25x and we get four bet in the small blind by a fishy type player. Has played very aggressive pre-flop, not very aggressive post-flop. Pretty high full percentages post-flop but shows down well. It is a small sample size of only 139 hands. The middle position player makes the four bet call. So it is only 90 cents to me to get in a pot of $5.80. So I'm just going to make a call here. I have a feeling I'm playing from behind with just the ace king, but I'm in position against both of these players. So I'm okay with putting 90 cents into a pot this large. And we wind up flopping a nut flush draw with two over cards. I had a feeling we were going to be up against a couple big pairs, possibly another ace king as well. There's now 670 in the pot and the small blind jams all in and I think any of the large pairs that this player could have been playing are go is going to make this exact move since on toilet 80 too much nice name on toilet eight too much <laughs> we are both committed into this pot so I think this bet sizing by the small blind is pretty good to put pressure on us and to possibly make a mistake here since we are pot committed on toilet eight too much makes a call and I'm getting incredible odds right here it's eight dollars and four sense for me to call an effective pot of 22 23 i've got the nut flush draw and two over cards i know there is a chance of the ace or the king not being out but i think even just on the flush draw we still have a plus ev play here with the call so i do make a call and we wind up hitting a flush on the river finally i'm drawing out on people i'm pretty sure that was a, a close to even ev play but i think we lose more when we make a fold there and that's a really hard hand to get away from with two over cards and a nut flush draw. We got lucky that time and hit our flush. Sorry guys, almost 200 big blinds on that hand. Next hand we're going to take a look at is pocket kings on the button. This is also a 10 NL table. The under the gun player makes a limp. The hijack seat limps as well and we are not going to let these limps get in there. So we're going to make it 6x to play. Under the gun folds, the hijack seat calls. This is a very draw heavy board and we don't want to let players play for cheap so I'm going to make it two-thirds of the pot on the flop and this player makes a quick call there's now 329 in the pot we both have a, a little bit over nine dollars in our chip stack so we're both playing this one pretty deep i make it slightly less than two-thirds to go here and this player makes a call and we wind up hitting our full house on the river there's 729 in the pot this player hit his trips on the river and i knew that there was a possibility this player was on a flush draw or he was playing the 10 on the flop and that's a hard hand to get away from either one one of those is probably not going to fold to a river jam here so i think we can get all our money in the pot right here and this player does make a call and we wind up picking up a big pot right there with a full house next hand we're looking at is pocket force from the big blind under the gun makes a three x raise and we get a couple callers to his left the under the gun player is a tight regular pretty similar game to mine very low three bet percentage but i know he's playing premium hands in this spot we wind up flopping a full house with fours over queens i I just check back the flop to try to induce some betting from the player who opened and he does make a bet to a dollar 25 and the player to his left makes a call I'm gonna put in a small raise right here to build the pot as well as make any queen pay to their full house outs maybe we can get a flush to chase as well so I make it 3x and the wolf to our left does make a call I think this player probably has a queen and I know that he doesn't have queen jack because he probably won't be playing that one in under the gun so i think there's a good possibility he has like king queen ace queen maybe he has a pair like kings or aces that he couldn't get rid of but i make a bet here try to make it affordable 675 and then i'm going to make it 1375 on the river but he takes care of that river bet for me by jamming all in i'm not going to get rid of this hand i figure he does have a queen with a good kicker and hopefully he can miss the river and he does miss the river and we pick up a big pot right there with another full house that is the perfect flop for us to get 
all of our chips in the pot. Next hand we're looking at is ace eight in the big blind. This time we're at a five NL table. It is only six handed. We get have an open limp from King OG in under the gun. And we want a flopping top pair top kicker. I just check back the flop. We get a raise on the button. I just make a call. King OG to our left also makes a call. So there's three of us that see the turn. And now I have top two pair. This is a very draw heavy board. There's two flush draws out there. There's a couple straight draws out there. I just check back. At this point, I am going to be check raising. And I'm hoping that sound hit that ace, which is exactly what happened. So I'm going to put in a raise here. And I put in a fairly sizable raise to try to make any draw out there pay. And he can't get rid of his top pair top kicker. There's almost $6 in the pot. There's only two twenty two dollars behind. So I'm going to get it all in here. And if he hit that flush, good for him. He's going to get his money in anyway. But I'm going to make any, any ace blank pay here by putting all of my chips in the pot and not letting him get to showdown for free. So I go all in and he does make a call with ace king and we pick up a very big pot right there. Another double up. Now we are at a 25 NL table. We are four handed. I have pocket tens in the big blind. The small blind makes it 3x to go. This is a very fishy player. I'm just going to make a call here. The player to our left is also pretty fishy. High VPIP numbers for both these players. And we wind up flopping top set. This player bets into us again. I'm just going to make a call here to not give away any indication of how strong our hand is. And he continues betting on the turn. This time he slowed down a little bit, made it a little bit less than half pot. Now there's a couple draws out there. So I'm, I'm making a little bit more than 3x to go. And he goes all in. Thank you. You set that one up perfectly for me. And I make this call. Wind up seeing top pair, top kicker for him. He doesn't have any outs going into the river. And there's another easy double up. Now we are going to reach our biggest loss of the night. This was a mistake. I knew it when I was playing. I couldn't get away from it. This guy, he plays a very, very polarized range. Um, only three bets, 39% with premium hands and 62% four bet with premium hands. So he four bets a little bit more with premium hands, but he still mixes in some four bet bluffs. But he is playing from under the gun and this from a regular type player is usually going to be a very strong range when you're playing cards from under the gun. So I three bet on the button with ace king and it comes back to this player and he four bets. It's essentially a four bet minimum right there and Right now, I have the choice of either 5-bet jamming, just calling, or folding, and I'm trying to figure out what this player has, and I think this min-raise is going to be a strong hand. I have seen this player mix it up quite a bit, and it's possible that he could be making this play with an ace-king, queens, jacks. I've seen him make crazy plays like this with ace-reg as well, you know, to mix it up and polarize his game. So I thought about this one for a long time, and I should have just hit that fold button i knew right here that he probably had a big hand and it's easy for me to just hit that fold button but i do not i hit that jam button and i do see pocket kings which isn't great for me the flop is pretty good i still have outs to the ace my outs slim when he hits the flush draw on the turn but i do wind up missing that i lost a big pot right there i think it was yeah it was my biggest loss uh monetarily of the night it's not the biggest mistake i've ever made but i do think that that was a mistake and I know that this player is going to be playing a relatively tight range from that spot because I think a lot of his polarized and steel type plays are going to be made in later position and not from early position so I should have known better but you live and you learn and next time I will not make that play against Obamka all right we got a big time EV differential on this one this is a fun one so I have ace jack suited under the gun plus one I open raise to 3x we get a call from a fishy type player in the cutoff and we wind up flopping trip jacks ace kicker just like earlier when I hit a full house with fours this player hits a four house four house a full house i lead out to try to get value from any pairs that could be calling here and with this fishy player his fold to a flop bet is very low as well so i thought there was a possibility he could be calling with over cards maybe even ace high so i do make the bet and he just calls i'm not going to be slowing down at any point 
during this hand and he makes it eight dollars so he raises he pretty much makes raises me 3x my bet and i think this player could be making this turn raise with a ton of hands um i see that his showdown when turn raising is zero percent one at showdown so i know that's a great number for me i'm gonna make any jack blank pay here i'm gonna make any possible pairs in between fours and jacks pay here if he has a flush draw i want to make that pay so i'm just gonna jam right here and i think there's a ton of hands in this player's range that he could be calling with and we're gonna make value from i unexpectedly saw a full house we still have outs to a three a jack or an ace and the river is a jack four of a kind <laughs> <laughs> hit that case jack and that one was right in here i believe or maybe that was the uh flush draw earlier that we saw because i was definitely e negative ev on that one so yeah, i think that one was right here but you can see as this session progressed i was running really really well there's a big difference in between my net one and the ev one and with hands like that you are definitely going to be running well feels good though now we're gonna take a look at a couple pocket aces hands real quick we have pocket aces in the small blind the cutoff makes it 3x to go we three bet to a dollar ten very low rainbow flop i make it a dollar thirty on the flop and this player raises i'm just gonna go all in right here he's pretty much pot committed at this point and i think any pair over sixes is gonna make this call so i just jam and he does make a call with jacks and we're in a great spot here with the aces pick up a big pot right there this time we're in the cutoff with aces we get a 3.5x raise from middle position and we three bet to a dollar 35 making a dollar more he jams all in easy play for us with aces we just make a call we see we're up against fours and we pick up that one with aces over jacks that was a pretty loose play with fours but thank you for that last hand of the night we're gonna look at is ace king under the gun make it 3x we get a call from under the gun plus two we get a call from the cutoff and we get a three bet on the bottom this player three bets pretty polarized 58 percent of three bets are premium hands so we are going to be ahead of a lot of his range that he's going to be three betting here he has a pretty high fold to four bet as well so i just make a min four bet it's a little bit larger than a min four bet right here and i think that bet sizing is going to be good against this type of player because we're going to get rid of a lot of his bluff three bet range the lower end of his three betting and it shows a lot of value and it's going to commit any of these fish over here with an 83 percent vpip that would want to see a cheap flop right there i guess it's not really that cheap it was 750 for him to make that call which is quite expensive he's only got 1050 behind in a pot of 2160 so and we're pretty much gonna jam all in here on the flop unless we hit an ace or a king then we're gonna slow play but that is a pretty draw heavy board with the two tens two spades out there so i think a slow play at this point is probably not the best way to go about it so i just put them all in i think any pair is gonna make this call any two broadways is gonna make this call so i think that jam is the right play here he does make a call with ace jack two broadways he had outs going into the river doesn't hit him and that pop worked out perfectly for us head down to the video description for all the links to the poker products that i use including hold a manager and america's card room where i do all of my poker playing best site out there click that subscribe button if you guys have not done that yet give the video a thumbs up if you like it or you can relate to any of these hands how about that four of a kind that was awesome i'll be back tomorrow with a brand new video but until then i'll see you guys out on the virtual felt